Uh, let's see. We'll take a look at the hard gauges real quick. Yeah, Stumble's like right there. And then Frowl Gauge is actually pretty close too. But we have to go to a certain place to get them purified. So even when they get all the way down, they're not like done at that point. You have to go, uh... Well, you'll see. You have to go talk to Celebi. Well, Celebi's stone, basically. Let's head on down this way. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Sorry. Percy gets a little needy when Hannah's not here. It's her cat. <laughs> so, when Hannah's not here, she's like, I guess I'll set up for you, Brad. That's fine. Can you give me attention? And it's like, no, 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 no. Not right now. <laughs> uh, we have to go to the construction lot. That's why they give you this little area to go to and explore. Luckily, I just played this game, so... Makes it easier. Brad found a gear for the windmill. Brad obtained the gear. Dope, dude. Dope, dude. Okay. So I don't need to talk to any of these guys. They don't say anything. They're just like, oh, I'm building this place. I come from a white collar family. That's basically what they say. So honestly, I'm pretty happy. Hey, stop. Go. Go. Stop. Do not chew on phone wires. Percy, this is not a game. Making me look like a douchebag. Just sitting there chewing on a phone charge cable. She gets a little uh, rambunctious when Hannah's not here. It's like, come on, man. And then, like, I lift it up and she just starts, like, freaking jumping at it. And it's like, stop. Stop. <laughs> I can't beat up a kitten because she'll explode. Like, okay. Terribly sorry, Chief. You're okay. Yep, I'm fine. There's no need for all the worrying. Good, that's good. But Silva, this is an outrage. No, no, I reckon he agonized over this and did it because he thought it right. I can't blame the man for that. Enough about that. Enough about that, Duking. Instead, you should look over there. What? Well, you people. <laughs> I reckon you might be saying thanks, Duking. Th that's the gear. You found it for us. What amazing luck. I asked you to excuse me for my behavior earlier. You seem to be people who are worthy of trust. You have my sincere thanks. All right, I'll get this back in the slot. The gear snugly back in the gap where it belongs. Dope. All right, get that. You said I'll get that gear. What I'll do is in for you then. How's that now? All done, standing by, let it roll. All 30 long years of cranking gears. Oh, yeah. Hashtag bars. <laughs> this is the way it ought to be. Things are fine now. Okay, cool. That's it. Oh, okay, cool. I can tell you're a man of courage and honor. I have a favor to ask. Will you hear me out? I'm grateful. I want you to enter the next Coliseum battle. I need you to win the knockout challenge and find out what is going on there. I can tell from a glance you're no ordinary trainer. I know you can win. I'm sorry, but help me. Yeah, for sure. I can help you. I do. That's fine. You're good. Dude. I have a song stuck in my head. I'm not just dancing. Uh, no. Duking is actually like one of the few good guys in the game. He is not the enemy. Duking's actually pretty dope. He, he comes into play a little bit later. Not a whole lot, but he's pretty dope, though. Thank you for your patience. The power has been turned back on. I'll be happy to accept registrations for the next challenge. Hello. Welcome to the Pirate Coliseum. Yeah, I would. Entering with the Pokemon you have in your party now? Hope you give it your best. I had to burp. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Percy is mad, dude. She's pissed. I took her phone away, or her wire away, and she's just like, give me it back. I took her phone away. What's up, Hawks? Alright, Hawks. Hunter Hawks. Hey, right, got that alliteration at least, so that's good. Whoa! Okay. What the heck, dude? Moltres and Tyranitar. Alright, let's do this. 
helpless. I was, uh, I wasn't that prepared. Okay. Was most certainly not prepared for this. So we're actually going to Toxus this T-Tar right now. And then we're going to Shadow Rush that Moltres. Oh, Defense Pro, that's fine. A god team, legitimately, dude. <laughs> like, that's like perfect counterparts to each other. That's not very good damage. Hey, give me this Sharpen. That, that's not good, but it's not bad. Oh, come on, Snubble! Now is not the time to let me down, Snubble. Frowlgator is buffeted by the Sandstorm. That's fine, I guess. I kind of low-key want Frowlgator to go in hype mode this turn. Because that T-Tar can end our life so quickly. I kind of want to memento him, honestly. But we'll, we'll give it a chance. We'll see what he's got. If he actually attacks us with something very powerful, then yeah, I'll memento him. That's okay, damage. I wish it was a little more, but what can you do, you know? Whirlpool. Uh, it shouldn't hurt too much. I think water's special. Oh, it was crit. I was like, dang, man. We're good. Trapped in the vortex, so now Snubble can't leave. Okay, we at least hit the move. But let's give this little T-Tar some damage. No, Shadow Gauge can't go up. No. It only goes down. Alright, for alligator. I need you to go into hyper mode, buddy. No, I don't want you to go into hyper mode, but I need you to. Moltres has put up a, a, a couple things, though, so... I almost feel like I should just talk to the Moltres as well. But... Well, we're going to start out by healing up a little Snubble, I think. We can't get him out of there anyways. We have enough money for uh, some potions when we need them. So Snubble's going to get healed. And then for Alligator, you gotta start doing some damage to Moltres. Ooh, up forward. That might actually might kinda hurt. I like how we don't move back on that one. But alright, whatever. Okay, I need you to crit for Alligator. Or hyper mode so I can learn a new move. If this T-Tar even, like, flicks his toe at us, we're done. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Luckily, he's toxic, so if came worse came to worse, we could just live it, I guess. I don't know what we could do. We could get body. That's what we could do. Our Whirlpool is luckily not doing too much damage, so we're pretty good on that part. And Snubble is fully ready to be purified, which is nice. Let's actually Spike Cannon the Moltres and Shadow Rush the Moltres. I think Uproar gets stronger every turn, doesn't it? I believe I'm gonna say yes. Okay, there we go. That's actually good. That's actually good. Not the best time to do it. Okay, string shot Tyranitar is okay. I can live with that. That's not too big of an issue. Is it ideal? No. Hopefully we can get enough damage out of Snubble. Let's give me one crit. It's okay. Can you get five or two? Same thing. Five, two, same thing. The Moltres is getting buffeted. So if all goes according to plan, which it might, it might not, um, we should be okay. Making an uproar, that's fine. We can't heal for Alligator because he's in a hyper mode right now. So we're going to have to call him to get him out of hyper mode and risk the biscuit that Snubble can do this. So let's call for Alligator. Get out of hyper mode. That takes off so much of his bar, that's insane. That's honestly why. Don't take him out. Hey, there we go. Whirlpool. That's probably going to take out a little snubble. Oh, Sandstorm. That sucks. Maybe the Sandstorm will die on this turn. Hey, dude, Snubble's getting the experience. That's all I care about. That's awesome. Oh, maybe. Nope. Well, that's a bummer, Snubble. You just had to get three hits, Snubble. That's it. That sucks. Well, you did good, I guess. Kind of wish you'd get the experience from a pseudo-legendary and a legendary. But... What are you going to do? So who do we want to get the experience? I think Bulbasaur is probably a pretty good option. 
So let's send in Bulbasaur. You can get all the experience from the pseudo and it's legendary. Takes off so much of your gauge too, little Bulbasaur. Dang, man. Well, I know for Ryle Gator out Outrage? Dude. Dude, for Ralligator. That is what's up, man. That is my boy right there. That's so dope. That's what I'm... Dude, Outrage. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, for Ralligator's earned the new spot <laughs> as my favorite. Okay, they'll both go down this turn unless the Sandstorm dies out. Which it probably will. No, it didn't. Nice. Outrage for alligators. Pretty beast mode. I like that. Oh, Bulbasaur, you alright there, bud? And T Tar is finally gone. Okay. You just got experience for a legendary and a pseudo legendary Bulbasaur. That's dope. So, no matter what, we have an Ivysaur. Whenever he pure Because whenever they purify, you get all the experience. That you would have gained uh, when they were Shadow Pokemon. In case you didn't know. Now you know. Alright, let's do the second battle. What do you got for me, Tisler? Plan to win it all. You know that's impossible. I didn't know that, actually. What do you got? Swalot and Duskull. Not quite as powerful as a T-Tar or Moltres. To be fair though, that T-Tar did not have any uh, attacking moves. So, <laughs> we kind of got lucky. So, Snubble. I want you to Shadow Rush. Probably the Swalot. No, actually, I want to switch Snubble out for Bulbasaur. I want I just want Frogator to go on an outrage. What will happen when it's able to be purified? Um nothing really. The gauge just goes all the way down. And when you get to Agate Village, uh, you can go purify it. You purify it and then it gets rid of Shadow Rush and you learn you learn whatever your fourth move is. Oh that sucks. Outrage was disabled. Okay, well. It's fun while it lasted. So wait, does that mean I'm now locked in? Outrage is disabled, so I just lose my move now. And I can't even switch him. That sucks. Alright, well, pro plays by Swallowed, I guess. That's what we're watching right now. Come on, Bulbasaur, how strong are you? It's not too bad. Rapid Spin Duskull, okay. Well, so Duskull's not much of a threat. Alright, we're all getting out of that now. Let's go back to Shadow Rushing. How much damage can we get done for Alligator? Come on, bud. That's pretty good. Swallow's pretty defensive, so that's pretty solid. I can dig it at least, how's that? Fake Tears. Ugh. It actually comes out of his eyes, so that's pretty cool, though. Uh, I think it's only, I think it's five rounds. But I think I'm actually going to stop streaming after this, uh, this round right here. And then I'll come back tomorrow night. I've already been at it for two and a half hours. So. But Bulbasaur gets to learn a new move right now, which is amazing. You still, yeah, man. So let's just get this Duskull out of here. Alright, let's see what Bulbasaur learns. Oh, okay, well. Just kidding. We'll get to see Feraligator's uh, final move, besides the Shadow Rush move. I don't like the look of that. My special defense dropping all the time. So, what do you got, Bulbasaur? Fire Blast. Okay, cool. That's actually pretty good. Let's call Feraligator. We'll see what his final move is. God, it takes off so much for Feraligator. It's insane. Belly Drum Swalot. Well, well, you just made yourself a target, Swalot. There you go, Bulbasaur. Can you take him out? With a critical hit, you can. Be good. I'm hoping, man. So Bulbasaur, we know he has Fire Blast. Slam! That is not bad. I actually... Okay, minus Memento. 
I'm pretty happy with Pharrell here. I am very happy with Feraligator, actually. Yeah. That's dope. Oh, wow. You're not half bad, you. 